iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.3 versus iPhone 5s iOS 11 public beta 3 review. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and iOS 10.3.3 official was released the other day and I have it here on the gold 5s and iOS 11 public beta 3 was also released a few days ago and I have it here on the gray 5s. So let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same damn time in 3, 2, 1 and let's see which one gets to the home screen first now the ios 10.3.3 for the 5s is a highly recommended update due to this uh code this wi-fi chip that a hacker could get into and mess with your phone and it's a pretty malicious code that you're not even going to be aware of that they can get into so if you're on 10 point whatever for iphone 5s please go ahead and update yourself to 10.3.3 you can thank me later over here on this 5s ios 11 public beta 3 we are coming along and this thing is pretty much like ios 11 pb4 or public beta 4 so if you got public beta 3 essentially you have the developer beta 4 you know the public beta 4 will be like the developer beta 5 and so on and so forth so we do see in this example that ios 10.3.3 for the 5s does outdo ios 11 public beta 3 in the boot up as we might have expected, you know, even though we're on third beta already, this thing is pretty, you know, still not still not ahead of official software yet. So guys, confirming the software versions, Goldilocks over here does have iOS 10.3.3 installed 14G60. And over here on Space Gray Astronaut, we do have iOS 11 15A 5327G over here. Let's go ahead and close those applications out and let's get into the speed test. Let's go into calendar. You can see calendar is about the same. Let's go into calculator. And if you guys want to see the feature set with iOS 11 public beta 3, be sure to check out my release video. That's where I talk about that. This is not a review video of the beta 3 like in terms of the features. This is just a performance test looking at the old 5S to see should I update it? Is it working better? For example, so you can see system based apps are ahead for 10.3.3 across the board again ahead. Even though we're now in the third beta, we're still seeing a better performance here on the official 10.3.3 for the iPhone 5S. And there goes 10.3.3 coming home. Let's go into eBay on both devices. And you can see eBay should be loading up first for it looked like maybe 10.3.3. Let's go into camera and you can see 10.3.3 and then you see the focus box there on 11 beta 3. So let's go into Instagram. And you can see Instagram does fire open first on 10.3.3. I actually wasn't logged in here, so we might just have to discount that test. Let's go into Temple Run. And you can see Temple Run is loading first there for 10.3.3. And there we go for iOS 11 Public Beta 3. What about Jetpack Joyride? You can do it, Jetpack Man. Jetpack Man can do it. Don't judge me, I can sing. You can see right there, Jetpack Joyride loading up there first for 10.3.3 and we're in. So we're just gonna close it out there for 11 public beta three. We've seen it's a win to 10.3.3. So you can see right there, App Store does load first there for, ooh, that was close, but I'm gonna call that one 10.3.3. But you can see in iOS 11 public beta three, you can now refresh the apps tab just as you could in developer beta four. So coming home, let's go into Safari on both devices and do a couple of web tests. This might be network based, but still, even if your software is faster, it will still be faster on the same Wi-Fi network if the software is better. So let's go hit go on apple.com. And you can see apple.com first for 11. Wow, that was pretty cool. We see an 11 public beta three win one there. Let's go to yahoo.com. Yahoo.com for 5S Goldilocks. This one's Goldilocks for this video. This one over here, Space Gray Astronaut. Let's go hit go right now, and you can see yahoo.com, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 10.3.3, boom. Wins easily over iOS 11 public beta three. So it looks like we're having a pretty clear winner here in this video. I mean, this is showing that 10.3.3 is still a little bit more stable than what you're gonna find for the iOS 11 public beta three. Going in the phone, you can see phone even faster there. Dead trigger. 
Oh, you can't even open. You can't even open dead trigger here on iOS 11. It's not supported here for iOS 11. So keep that in mind. You're gonna have applications that are just not supported on iOS 11. And you can see it'll say here on your iOS 10 what's not supported so far. It's kind of giving developers a little notification like, hey, you need to start getting your applications updated for upcoming iOS 10 because it's coming and it's coming fast and furious and people are waiting for this software. So, so let's go ahead and hit YouTube here on both devices and you can see YouTube is first to load on the Galaxy, did I just say Galaxy? The iPhone 5S on the right being iOS 11 public beta 3. Let's go into Play Newsstand, and you can see Play Newsstand looks to win here first on which phone is gonna do it. Okay, Public Beta 3, so Public Beta 3 coming back on a couple of apps here. So you've seen that you know pretty much 10.3.3 was faster around the board than this Public Beta 3 here, except for a few applications that were, weren't compatible, so we're gonna have to skip through those in the multitasking. Let's run through this again here. Calendar, you could see about the same. Let's go into Calculator about the same there. Let's go into clock, and you can see about the same there. Let's go into weather, and you can see about the same. I say 10.3 slightly. You can see a, maybe 10.3.3. Let's go into Amazon, about the same. So multitasking is solid here for the public beta. I'm gonna give that one a 10.3.3. Camera, I'm gonna give that one a 10.3.3 as well. What about we didn't do Instagram correctly? Let's go into Temple Run. And you can see Tupper Run again has to reload on both, but it reloads faster on 10.3.3. Jetpack, Jetpack's ready to go on 10.3.3. I don't think I waited for that one to load in the prior test, but let's go into App Store. And you can see about the same here. Let's go into Safari. And I'm gonna call that one about the same. So multitasking, not looking too different here on the devices. They're pretty close to even. Dead Trigger is not compatible on iOS 11. YouTube, about the same and play newsstand about the same. So you can see performance overall is not too much better on 10.3.3. So if you wanted to try out the iOS 11 public beta, I think you could run this thing as a daily driver now. I still would recommend a backup before you go ahead and do this, but you could see the new notification set up here is a little laggy from time to time. I'm pulling down, nothing is happening. And as you can see, I'm not faking that. You can actually see me touching the screen and nothing is happening. So. I'm gonna have to go ahead and lock this baby and open it back up to get into notifications. So it's stuff like that that just can become an annoyance day to day when you guys are using the public beta 3 on your iPhone 5S. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up here for me. I'm not gonna drag this video out you know, any further. We've seen that 10.3.3 is the faster operating system still over the public beta 3. Even though we're beta 3, you know, this is the same as developer beta 4. It's still quicker here on 10.3.3. So it's really up to you. Do you want to download it for the day-to-day -day use? I mean, if you guys want to try it out, you're not going to decrease in performance that much. It's about a 10 to 15% decrease in performance on the public beta 3 over 10.3.3. But if you're wondering about 10.3.3, please go ahead and update to this if you're on the officials. This is a very huge bug fix. It's not, you know, a huge visual change, but this bug could really infiltrate your Wi-Fi chip and, um, you know, they can get a hold of it and you won't even know. It's some pretty crazy stuff behind the scenes. So do the 10.3.3 if you can. And anyway, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.